July 6th, we're 12 days out from the competition. Uh, this morning I hit a new low weigh-in of 163.6 pounds. 163.6, and uh, it's 11 a.m. Normally we work out at six today. We have some things we have to do throughout the day. So, had a quest bar this morning, and pre-workout, out here in the gym, about to kill it. Here with just Tim. Me and Tim today, and uh, gonna try 300 pounds for three sets of five. So my last chest workout, I had 295 for three sets of five. So I'm still gonna try my best, even though it's earlier in the day. I don't have as much food to hit the five reps for all three sets, so. Let's see if we do it. Go easy. One more. Good. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Explode. Come on. Up, 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 up. All right. Going for a third set. The last set was a grinder. Uh, the fifth rep. But I think I have it in me. I'm gonna put my wraps on for this set. I haven't been using them, so I'm gonna put these on. I'm gonna have Tim give me a lift off, and I wanna hit five reps. And say I can do 300 pounds for three sets of five at my body weight. I feel like I didn't amp myself up enough last set. So this set, I'm gonna take my time, get in my zone, find that fire. to some pull-ups. Going for about five sets of 10 to 12 here. Just body weight. Getting a squeeze. All right, what's going on, family? I have some really exciting news for you all. I have decided that I'm going to do a daily upload, meaning I'm going to upload a video every single day leading up until the competition. And... I'm really excited about this. Um, I've never done daily uploads. I've never uploaded more than two days in a row uh, without taking like an off day, but things are crazy right now. You know, the launch, the athlete launch is coming up on July 16th in eight days. Um, the competition is on the 18th and uh, there's so much going on the next 10, 12 days. And I just want to document everything for you guys. Uh, Javon's here helping. I'm going to be doing some videos on my own. We're going to wake up in the morning, record, Stay late if we have to. Stay till whatever time we need to. Get these videos done. Get them uploaded the next morning and make them live to you all. Uh, I know I'm central time, so like late morning slash early afternoon, kind of standard uh, for my videos timing, but I'm really excited to bring this to you all. And if you guys are happy about this, please leave this video a thumbs up. Um, you know, click that thumbs up button. I want to see, I know I'd never ask you guys to do this or anything, but I want to see how many lights we can get. Uh, I'm kind of nervous announcing this, you know, it's, I know it's kind of taking on a lot. There's already a lot on the plate, but I think that it's going to be worth it to document all this for you all and, uh, and for myself. So let's do it. I'm pumped, but getting onto this workout after the bench press, I was really happy. Even though I failed on my fifth rep, 
Um, I'm very happy with being able to handle three, 300 pounds for sets of five. Um, my first two sets I got all by myself, no lift off or anything. And I just failed on my fifth rep, um, of the third set. So I was happy about that. Moved on to some body weight pull-ups. Now it's not like I'm doing body weight just because I don't want to add weight. I'm doing body weight because literally after two, three sets, I fail within that 12 rep range of my forearms proper. Here you're going to see in and out posing clips. Now posing is something I'm going to be the first to say I am still working on. Um, I'm still trying to find exactly what I like and what I don't like. Um, but a few critiques. I feel like my strong pose, which is this one right here where I bring my arm out and swing and show off my obliques and arms and chest, that's my strongest pose. Um, I feel like I have that down pretty well. Here doing some dumbbell rows and you're going to see another posing clip. So I think I have that pose down pretty well. I like how my feet look. Um, I like how little the waist looks and how broad the chest looks. I do want to turn my chest out a little bit more. So I'm going to be working on posing every day as well. So you're going to be seeing a lot of that footage. Um, and I just want to be as comfortable as I can on stage. So here's round two. You can see here's a strong pose right there, showcasing the obliques, bringing my chest forward. My back pose, I'm still deciding if I want to sort of, you know, squeeze my back and then flare out my lats or just keep, you know, keep my lats more flared. My lats more flared. I think the difference is if I keep them flared the whole time, it looks a lot more laid back, quote unquote physique, um, you know, physique guy, less bodybuilder. But I also do like showing you know, all the hard work I've done and showing the definition of my back and then spreading my lats and showing them kind of, um, gr you know, go into their fully lengthened or, you know, as wide as I can. Um, and then I have my third pose, which you're going to talk about right now, uh, where I turn to the front. I like to do a little, little turn, kind of bring my arms up and fall into place. So here's pose number one, one more time. These are all different clips. Number one, number two, you can see here, squeeze my back just a little bit and then spread them out. Number three, turn and hit this pose. I'm still working on this pose, making that one fluid. That one feels most uncomfortable with me, but I'm going to be back with the commentary in just a second. So I'll talk to you all very, very soon. All right, guys, I apologize for not getting too much or any <laughs> vlog footage today, but going to hit you all with a leg workout. We're about to go do my pre-workout meal today was some of the Quaker rice cakes. I am currently having the 35 calorie ones versus the caramel ones because in these there's only seven grams of carbs and in the caramel there's 11 grams of carbs. So um, I had seven of these and this is about an hour ago and two scoops of protein. So now we're gonna go and kill this leg workout. Got my red CG Fitness performance shirt on. They're probably never satisfied. My collar, some Nikes, some leggings, my SVD knee sleeves and I'm ready to kill it. Uh, it's just gonna be me and Daniel today hitting legs. We got a Nala girl here today. Gaining a little weight. I'm noticing she's gaining some weight, so um, it is summer, so I'm gonna exercise her more at night when it's not so hot outside. But that's what's going on. Two and pre workout, feeling pretty good. My energy levels, I would say, right now, um, I don't feel as good as yesterday at all, so probably like a 7 out of 10. So you're gonna do the best I can. Let's go. Body weight this morning was 164 even. 164.0. Leg day is the hardest day for sure. I'm in the mood where like, I kind of already have a predetermined, I'm trying to get out of it, but I have a predetermined mindset that it's not gonna be a great workout because I don't have that 10 out of 10 or nine out of 10 energy, but I should do my best. If my strength's not all the way there, I'm gonna do what I can and get it done, calories burned. I'm gonna hit about 20 minutes of cardio immediately after my workout. I pretty much finished most of my macros for the day. It's 8 p.m. right now. And uh, after the workout, after the cardio, I'll go home, finish some macros, and get some rest. I'm going into my first set. I'm gonna try 315 pounds. As I kind of mentioned, my energy's not there 100%, but I have to try it. This is the working weight I would want to be using. I'm gonna give it a shot. Maybe I'll surprise myself. All five reps here. And I want to get at least three sets of five. Let's do it. Guys, 
solid. Let's go, boy. Come on. Come on. Do an AMRAP. That means A M R A P. It's an acronym for as many reps as possible. So I'm gonna push myself here. I'm not gonna go to failure. I'm not gonna fail. But I'm gonna go RP nine, RP nine and a half. Whatever number that leads me to. It could be four. It could be six. It could be seven. I'm gonna go for it. Push myself. I really don't have many leg workouts left. Got today, probably one more like solid workout, and then it's peak week. Actually, probably have one more leg workout. I think that's it. Leading up to the show, so we're gonna make the most of it. Here we go. Come on. Let's go! Let's get this, boy. Let's go. Got the shit. Come on! It's the most important one. Let's go! Oh, All day, baby. Come on! Got nine. I was honestly just in disbelief that I was able to get nine reps. Um, I think that I had such a negative mind mindset going into that workout. You guys even heard me say I, I purposely left the clips in there about you know me saying. Uh, I'm like a 7 out of 10. My energy was really low. And even though it was, I feel like just getting amped up and telling myself, like, as soon as I said out loud that I only had this workout and one more leg workout left until my show, something kind of, like, triggered inside of my mind that was just like, you better give this set everything you have. And um, I I don't know. I felt really tight during the set. It, it's almost like I felt like a different person during the working set versus the entire hour you know and, and a half two hours leading up to that workout um and i don't know i surprised myself and so never sell yourself short guys i was going to drop the weight down to like 295 or uh, even like 285 pounds and work with sets of five but i'm really happy that i stuck with the weight that i wanted to stick with and sort of gave myself a chance to prove that to myself but after the squats, we only did three working sets on squats, so two sets of five, one set of nine with 315. Uh, after about six to seven warm-up sets, we moved on to four sets of the leg press, uh, squat press technically, focusing on a little bit more quad, and then I kept my feet a little bit closer for most of the sets, and then we did four to five sets of the Smith machine. I, go, I know you guys never see me use a Smith machine, but I use a Smith machine on these uh, hamstring straight leg deadlifts or uh, Romanian deadlift, whatever you want to call it. Um, Romanian because I'm not stiff leg. But I felt really good using this machine. Um, honestly, like, I know the Smith machine gets a lot of hate or whatever, but for this movement specifically, I really enjoy it because I can literally just focus on, you know, my bar path is straight because it's fixed, and I can just focus on getting that pull in my hamstring and coming up. And I, I don't like to go all the way up. I like to go right 
instead of locking out uh, almost like you would lock out, you know, lock it out at the top. I like to go a little bit less than that and just sort of keep more tension on my hamstring. So uh, I did three sets with a 45 and a 25 and then two set or yeah, two sets with two plates. Uh, after that, I moved on to some calves. You can see I am using a little bit of a bend in my knee just to be able to push more weight. Um, you know, this close to show, I want to overload as much as possible and use as heavy of weights as I can. Uh, five sets of calves, and then I did 20 minutes of cardio. So I posed before I did the cardio. Uh, I did not feel like my upper body looked good this day because I had just hit legs, so all the blood and everything just went to my legs, so I felt really flat. Um, but here, okay, you're going to see in the second posing clip, I do more of that back flex. So give me your opinion, guys. Should I pinch my back and then widen up, or should I just kind of go in more fluid and more men's physique, quote unquote? So here, more of a squeeze and then I widen up or just go wide. Um, I'll show you guys more clips of that, but thank you all for watching. I hope you're as excited as I am for these daily uploads. Um, and today was 12 and 11 days out. So I guess I will see y'all tomorrow.